Hey beautiful writers out there. So let's talk about the most prominent question of all. Do you or don't you need to write every day? Do I write every day? Let's find out. Okay, should you or shouldn't you be writing every day? But before we jump into that, let's, you know, talk about something that I see very often. That writing is mistaken um, as an identity. Whereas what writing really is, at least in my opinion, it's more an activity than an identity. Or to put it in other words, it starts as an activity and then it becomes an identity. All right? Activity is what makes the difference. So here's the thing. You don't have to literally sit down every day and write a scene or an action line or, you know, something in your script. This is not necessary. And also, I mean, you know, given the fact that we all have lives and that we all, you know, most of, you know, most of the writers out there, you know, they're struggling to make a living. So they, they have to very much work um, a full-time job you know, to provide for themselves or even a family. And then, you know, in the spare time, which is really sparse and very limited, they um, only have so much time to actually sit down and write. And I tell you one thing, you know, taking out, you know, all the mumbo jumbo people talk about, you should be writing each day. Of course, yeah, you should be writing as much as you can. Definitely, yes sit down whenever there's time and whenever there's focus and just bring it on paper absolutely yes but at the end of the day you know don't beat yourself up over okay i have not written today i have not written yesterday um i'm a bad writer or any kind of that bullshit this is definitely something that will get you nowhere nowhere. Instead, you should be looking. And that's really what you should be doing. You should be looking at a schedule. And when scheduling your week, like, you know, a whole week, um, look for opportunities where you can make writing a habit. Like, let's say, for instance, you have, you know, um, there is yoga class. <laughs> There is yoga class on Tuesday night. You work it in your schedule that you get there um, as early as possible so you have some spare time at hand. So this, the time that you would spend, you know, waiting for that yoga course to happen, you can actually sit down, you know, get out your, whatever um, device you have and start, you know, typing away. And here's the thing. And this is something that, you know, I do a lot. I do not write every day, each day. As in, I do not sit down and open up Final Draft and, you know, type it away. But what I do is, you know, I when I get up in the morning and um, I have my first coffee, I, I take out, you know, a pat and then I write down whatever comes to mind. And I don't really bother if it has anything to do with anything I'm working on. I just write whatever comes to mind. That's the beauty. And that is that creates intensive freedom. And this is what you want. You want the freedom aspect of it. Of course, the more you write, the better you get. Absolutely. But the one thing you need to understand is that it's not only, you know, screenwriting or writing a screenplay scene by scene that makes you a better writer. It's writing in general. And that's really what you need to understand. So if you just sit down and write a blog article or, you know, write, I don't know, a thesis or whatever, whatever kind of writing it is or prose or, you know, some even some music. It does not matter. 
The thing is, the activity is the thing that makes all the difference. The brain needs to get activated, and that's what you're looking for. And that is best done if you sit down and start writing whatever it is you want to write at that moment. Because if you, you know, limit yourself and you, um, and you put pressure on you to write a screenplay or a prose or whatever, if, if the form dictates or it's too dictating, then you will not get far. And on the other hand, you will experience a lot of freedom if you just let it out, if you just let it flow for 10 minutes, for half an hour, for an hour, whatever, whatever time is at your hands at that particular moment. Or if you, you know, um, plan, it, plan out the week and you sort of, you, you, you work on writing schedules. So yeah, that's basically it. Right every day. And here's another, here's a bonus tip. You should not start rewriting if you haven't finished the actual first draft of things. Because if you do, you know, edit while you're writing, it becomes a mess, a total mess. Because then you're already again restricting yourself and what this will provoke is probably a, a, a very bad case of writer's block. Nothing more. So, again, let's sum it up. Do you need to write every day? Mm, yeah, you should be writing as often as possible. If it happens every day, super, go for it. But the main aspect of the whole thing is should be writing each day or not is, yeah, you should not really limit yourself to one particular writing. All writing is writing. Okay, keep that in mind. And, you know, last but not least, make sure you don't edit before you have the first draft down. So that's it for me today. Make sure you like and subscribe and all this good stuff. Right on guys. See you in the next one.